Now, you guys look very well dressed. Congratulations on being dressed today. How how did you how did you come to being how how did you come to being dressed? Because because I I imagine you guys didn't go to sleep in those clothes, did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Some people did, but the majority of you aren't in your pajamas, are you? So what what happened between waking up and and getting to here? You put some clothes on. Yep, what else? Did you have breakfast or are you all really, really hungry? <laughs> no breakfast, really hungry, saving yourself for that morning tea. You made your bed, great. Well, you know, often when we wake up we're we're just a bit yellow and you know, we're not really ready for the day, are we? So I brought I brought my, my friend Brickman. And uh it's Bernard. it's Bernard, is it? <laughs> well let, so I'm assuming maybe maybe it is Bernard. So maybe when Bernard got up, he put on his blue jumper and, and so he, he put some I'm pretty sure he put some pants on. Did you forget pants this morning, Bernard? No, so he he put some pants on. And look, he even put his boots on. He, he, he even has boots on. And so Bernard got ready today. Bernard got ready today. And he transformed from his pajamas into his clothes that he was going to wear to church. <laughs> but you know what's more important than transforming from pajamas to, to being clothed? And we heard it in the Bible reading. Did, did anyone pick it up? No? What about being trans, transformed the way you think about things? So maybe our, our brick man needs... What does he need to start thinking differently? Head. Thanks, John. Maybe does he read his Bible? So he knows God's Word? Yeah. What else can we do? And I think we're going to hear about this more from uh, Rod when he comes and preaches to us, thinking about God's Word. And so Brickman has been reading his Bible, and so now he's meditating on God's Word. He says, wow, isn't God good? He loves us so much. And we heard that from Malachi a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? And how, how, do, how should we respond when we've read our Bible and we've thought about God? How should we respond? Uh, we should respond like, oh, I'm so generous. Yep, but do we just like think that or do we like, Yay. What, what should we do? We should pray. Pray to our Heavenly Father and thank Him. Oop, we lost the Bible. Yeah. And so we should thank him. And so we can go, hello, Father, thank you for today. Thank you that you've made the sun and the crisp air. Thank you that we can gather together as a church. And so maybe in the mornings, once you've gotten dressed, once you've had your breakfast, or maybe even beforehand, you could do these three simple things. Now, who can read? Many of you guys can read. So you guys could read even five minutes of your Bible and then spend five minutes thinking about what you read and then a few minutes praying. Hands up if you can't read. Hands up if you can't read. Keep your hands up if your parents can read. Yeah. So you can go, this is one area where you can nag your parents all day long. Okay. <laughs> You can say, Mom and Dad, can you please read the Bible to me? Okay? And so for those who can read, grab a Bible or read something from God's Word. If you can't read, go, Mom and Dad, can you read for me? And then have a think and then have a pray. 
Okay, and that is a great way to start your day. And I reckon if you ask Bernard, he'll let you know what he thought about today, this morning, and maybe what he prayed this morning and what he read in his Bible this morning. Why don't we pray and then we'll grab our sheets. Dear Jesus, thank you that we can learn about you. Thank you that we can find out more about you in the Bible. Thank you that we can... Uh, think about what you've done for us. Meditate on your word. And thank you that we can come to you in prayer. Thank you that we can say how much we love you and how much we're thankful for you. Amen. Amen.